on 27th November, the church remembers St. Francis Anthony Fasani, who was an Italian friar of the Order of Conventual Friars Minor. Born in 1681 at Lucera in southeastern Italy, St. Francis Anthony Fasani was the son of very poor peasants, but he was a bright lad and received a good education from the conventual Franciscans in his native town. He entered the conventual Franciscans in 1695 and took the names of St. Francis and St. Anthony. He spent much of his time studying and was ordained a priest ten years later after entering the order. He was then sent to the Sagro Convento, adjoining the Basilica in Assisi, where St. Francis is buried, for the purpose of continuing his studies. Two years later, he received the doctorate in theology, and he was then appointed lector of philosophy in the college conducted by the conventuals in his hometown. St. Francis Anthony Fasani was promoted successively to Regent of Studies, Guardian and Provincial, the latter office which he held from 1721 to 1723. After that he served as Master of Novices and then as Pastor of the Church of St. Francis in Lucera. A bishopric was offered to him, but he declined it. In all his various ministries, he was loving, devout, and penitential. He was a sought-after confessor and preacher. Francis's charity towards the poor and suffering was inexhaustible. Among the various initiatives, he promoted the custom of collecting and distributing gift packages to the poor on the occasion of Christmas. But his zeal and his priestly charity shown in a very singular way in the assistance to the parishioners and condemned people whom he personally accompanied to the place of execution to comfort the extreme moments. He was very devoted to the Immaculate Conception. To the souls he directed, he used to inculcate acts of homage to the Madonna and meditation on her virtues. Even today in the Church of St. Francesco, the beautiful statue of the Immaculate Conception, which he had brought from Naples, is the object of particular veneration. The people still sing the Marian song he composed. Francesco showed himself a loyal friend of the poor, never hesitating to seek from benefactors what was needed. He was also a mystic, known for his deep prayer life and supernatural gifts, and was known to levitate while praying. The people of Lucera were known to compare him with St. Francis of Assisi, from whom he derived his name. He died in 1742 and was canonized in 1986. From the process of beatification, we learn that Francis Anthony was diligent in study, fervent in piety, prompt in his obedience to his superiors, devout in meditation, and most exact in the fulfillment of all of his duties. He was also mortified and given to the exercises of penance, even to bloodshed. From his youth he was an angel in the flesh, more an angel than a man. Placing all our petitions before St. Francis today, let us pray. O God, who loves the humble, by the intercession of St. Francis Fasani, Help us to earnestly live by Jesus' teachings and give generously to the poor and the marginalized. We make this prayer in your Son Jesus' name. Amen.